I hope I come back next week with good experiences. That's all I have to say. Welcome back to the Quirky Cast. It is officially T minus two days till Coachella. And let me tell you, I am stressing. <laughs> I'm just sitting back, relaxing. I am starting to get a little bit of FOMO, though. Mm, from just seeing people posting and getting ready for the weekend. Yeah. And also just um, going back through all of my videos and pictures from the past Coachellas. And I'm just like, wow. That was so much fun. Yeah. But then I remember that it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I feel like I have been in the phase of just thinking about all the past uh, years, thinking about, you know, how kind of like dreadful it is. And I wasn't so, so, so excited for this upcoming weekend. But the closer it's been getting, I've been listening to all of my favorite artists like songs and just getting prepared. Yeah. And I'm actually getting like so, so, so excited. Really? Um, specifically, I've been listening to Renee Rapp literally oh. on repeat and I need to go see her in person and i'm so excited to go watch so have they dropped the set times yet they haven't not wow. uh, as of right now as we're filming but um i don't know when they're gonna do that probably like a day or two before yeah Okay. So, but I want to get prepared. That's the one thing about me. It's like, I'm a planner. I need to know what time I need to be at the festival on Friday. Like I need to know. So you can still run late. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least we are getting into our Airbnb on a Thursday, which yes. is the first time I've ever done that. Yeah. So I will officially be in Palm Springs on Thursday because normally we always drive up on Friday and that's why we show up to the festival Friday nights super late. Yes. But so this year we are prepared and we are ready and we are so excited. Um, but with me saying all of that, I'm actually not prepared as of right now <laughs> because I have a long laundry list of things I need to do and I'm literally stressing because I feel like I don't have enough time. Yeah. Should I just run through that little list for a second? I Give mean, it to us. Okay, here we go. This is just in my brains. I have it all written down in my head. I need to actually write it down like on my phone or something to get it out of my brain. Um, okay. As of right now, as we're filming, it is Monday. So I guess it is a full week before Coachella. So what my Not plan a full is? Week. Oh, couple days. <laughs> Technically, it's T minus four days. Yeah, T minus four <laughs> days Coachella. right now. <laughs> um, but let me think. So tomorrow, I'm planning on filming and putting on a whole sleeve of ink box tattoos. I have. I think I have like 20 tattoos or so. Wow. I'm going to put them all over my body. So is it going to be like a full sleeve or is it going to be like the um, sketchbook kind of tattoos? Oh, not the sketchbook one. Or wait. Like, you know, like tattoos all over your oh. arm. But like, like I've heard people describe it as like, oh, your arm looks like a sketchbook. Yes. Okay. Li like little doodles yeah, yeah, like yeah. everywhere. Yes, exactly. Like, I have like fee phoebe or something like that yes. or, yeah i love uh -huh. her tattoos i love those too and so yeah i have like a bunch of different sizes um obviously all different designs and so i'm gonna just like scatter them all over my arms i have this huge this huge butterfly one i don't know what i was gonna do with it but i'm gonna put it on my back it's huge <laughs> like, i'm gonna need some help to do that too. wait was that like the like the tramp stamp one you were talking about or is that something else no it's um i have a different one i oh. have so many from like the years that yeah. i've worked with them and i've just been collecting them over and over <laughs> like over time um so this is i'm literally went through my whole collection and i'm gonna use them all so not to stress you out even mm -hmm. more but do they expire oh <laughs> Oh, um, you know, that's a question. <laughs> you know, another question I have actually is uh, <laughs> on Wednesday, I'm going to do self tanning on myself. And I also don't know if I need to apply the tattoos before I self tan or after I self tan. I have no idea. And I was considering sending them an email and asking because I don't want me to put them on before and then me do a self tan. And then maybe it's like permanently stained on my skin. I have no idea. You know, <laughs> that is a good question you should did you say you're doing the tattoos tomorrow yeah oh. they will respond though if i email them i believe but because yeah. you do need to like exfoliate mm -hmm. your entire body before you self-tan mm -hmm. so well if i do them tomorrow okay. 24 hours wednesday i was gonna self-tan wednesday night because i'm getting my hair done wednesday morning mm. because this is literally girl math right now yeah it's a little too too much for me. It's a little too mathematical for me. <laughs> and it's all in my head. So Wednesday, we're going to Wednesday, okay? 9 a.m., getting my hair done. I am then going to need to do my nails, okay? I have not been getting my nails done for months. I've been doing my nails myself. Here's the problem. I've been doing um, just normal polish nails, and I will say they only last me a couple of days. I want these to last me all weekend getting grimy, in the dirt, in the mud. I don't want my nails to chip. So I'm considering doing gel, 
okay. but I'm kind of terrified because you can't wipe away gel if it looks bad. I see. Like you're going to do it yourself. I'm going to do it myself. I literally mm. bought myself an LED nail yeah. lamp. I have a whole array of gel nail polish I've had over months, years. Um, and here's another kicker. <laughs> I'm going to DIY my own aura nails and like oh. it could be hard. You know, I, I've been looking at videos. <laughs> I, mean, I hope you're filming all of this. because This is hilarious. <laughs> but this is why I'm stressing. And I'm like, I know it's just the littlest things. Like I shouldn't be stressing, but I want everything to be perfect. So, yeah. <laughs> Your week sounds eventful. <laughs> yeah. And with all of that, I still need to either, I still need to, one, clean my room, two, pack, um, three, I guess, yeah, just like... Shove everything into a corner. Shove everything into a corner. There we go. <laughs> I just feel like I'm the type of person whenever I go places, like when I travel, I would love to come home yes. to a nice, clean room. Yeah. But that doesn't always happen. Just make Austin do it. Yeah. <laughs> So I know the struggle with finding a hotel or Airbnb. I know you've been looking for one and looking for people and everything. I, w I just want to hear all about that. Yes. So I will say that luckily I reached out to one of our friends who coincidentally were also looking for a place to stay and people to join because that's the problem with trying to find somewhere. It's like it's going to be so expensive if you go find a place for just yourself or yes. you and a friend. So she had a group of friends. I had a friend also, and we actually found an adorable Airbnb for eight of us that are going. And I am so excited because one, like this Airbnb is so aesthetically pleasing, like from everywhere. There's a, there's a pool too. That's Let crazy. me say that. And I'm so excited to even have a pool. I guess I'm kind of thinking about like my hair is going to be done. So yeah. I don't want to get my hair ruined for the weekend. But, but you could like if it's just like really hot and you just want to take a little morning dip. Yeah. You don't have to dip all the way in. That's <laughs> true. I'm the type of person that anytime I go in the pool, I got my goggles on and I'm jumping in. <laughs> like I just need to go head first yeah. all the way in. But um but yeah so we have a pool what else so everything's like just very like pretty all the rooms are all decorated like different um types of themes it's like very bohemian i guess everyone that's staying with us are all content creators too which is going to oh, be nice. super fun i'm not going to feel cringy trying to film my <laughs> stuff every day in the morning and yeah stuff. because everyone's going to be doing that yeah for sure i'm excited nice i'm so excited to see all the videos and pictures and Mm -hmm. I just and just crop me into well it's pictures <laughs> so have you gotten your shuttle pass yet or are you guys gonna drive or what are you thinking that was a whole nother decision with our group because we did find a place that was 30 minutes away which I know last week we talked about is honestly the best case scenario and it's literally less than five minutes away from a shuttle stop uh, nice so I'm like honestly excited that it's just gonna be so seamless and easy hopefully crossing my fingers I I <laughs> hope I come back next week with good experiences that's all I have to say yeah that's what I was thinking I was like next week we're gonna see yeah we're gonna see if there's any good way to get to the festival <laughs> yeah I did have a light concern though is because we bought our shuttle passes on StubHub and you know sometimes with StubHub I feel like actually in general with StubHub whenever you're buying a ticket it's from like a reseller yeah you know and so the problem isn't with StubHub it's with the seller themselves and so that's why some people get like snubbed their tickets because the seller may be a scammer you have no idea i'm assuming they're on subhub because they're verified and they're okay mm -hmm. but you see all the time about how like people like even uh, our friend that went to taylor swift concert their subhub tickets or like tickets that they bought weren't correct i don't think it was stub oh, okay. i think it was um seat geek okay but Seek still like the yeah. same you know like idea yeah. of like the reseller sites mm -hmm. so that's the thing that just like concerns me it's like you never yeah. know if it's going to be okay or not. So. Which is crazy because uh -huh. you have to put in like your ticket and everything and you you would think that they would verify it somehow. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Yeah. Wow. And um, so basically, yeah, we bought our tickets. We bought our uh, shuttle passes and they said they were going to get shipped a day before we were going to leave uh, for the festival. And I was terrified. But luckily, we just got them in the mail today. Oh, that's so, so nice. Yeah. So now I'm like stress free. <laughs> stress free. <laughs> Not stress free at all. <laughs> One less thing to worry about. Not, not stress free at all. I take that back. <laughs> like, that's like the one thing where like you could have figured it out you could have got a parking pass and like <laughs> uh-huh no that's true that is actually so true that yeah. should have been on the least about my mind but all good. Um, I will say I am very mad at myself because I told all of you last week the one thing you need to buy is a locker okay? 
you know what I did? I literally went like I went on the website that night and I saw the lockers and I was like, oh, that's so strange. All the sizes are still available to buy. You know, we got the medium large and the extra large. And I was like, I added it to my cart and I'm like, uh, I don't feel like buying it right now. So I left the website. OK, the next morning, I'm like, you know what? I should buy it. Why did I not buy it that night? I don't know. Something was like, I just don't want to spend the money. I'm yeah. going to spend the money anyway. Yeah. So I should have just bought it. The next morning, all sizes sold out. Ugh. I'm like, who bought all these lockers overnight? <laughs> like somebody bought them all. <laughs> you think everyone looked at the same time you were looking? They're like, yeah, I'm going to buy it now. <laughs> yeah. I literally added it to my cart. And then I said, I sent a text to my friend and I was like, I'm so mad at myself. It's literally my yeah. fault because I should have bought it. Like there was no reason for me not to buy it. But Ugh. so with that being said, either... I'm just going to freeze at night um, because I don't just like to carry things with me and yeah. I don't want to bring a backpack or I'm going to be dragging a hoodie with me all night long or all day long. Yeah. Waiting for night. Have you looked since that day oh. for the lockers? Because, you know, uh. what if it was kind of like like they added a few and then they closed it off and then, yeah. like you know, I did look like another day because uh, somebody in the group chat was like, we should buy a locker. And I'm like, mm. hate to say it, but they're sold out. And I double checked yeah. before I said that. That's the other thing I was going to ask. Did anyone else? Yeah. Go on, but, another concern possibly is that the weather keeps changing. Mm -hmm. It was going to be in the 90s. Which yeah. I love. Honestly, I mean, the, like controversial opinion, <laughs> but I love the heat. Okay. I love when it's hot. I don't know. I just feel like that's Coachella vibes. And then a few days ago, I saw it was 70. Literally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're like in the 70s, like 75. And I'm like, what? I'm going to be freezing. Yeah. At 75, I'm wearing a hoodie. Yeah. And also at night, since it is the desert, mm -hmm. it's cold. It's going to, it was like in the 50s or something, like oh. 50s, 60s. And I'm like, I am literally going to need to change all my outfits because yeah. everything I'm wearing are like tank tops or like hot weather items. And then today it's back to 90. So like what is happening? Yeah. I did look today because so I've been <laughs> I've been telling Indiana about this. I watched this guy on TikTok. His name is Weather Daddy. <laughs> Let me just say real fast. She's been sending me this stuff and I'm just like acting as if I'm not reading it. Like I just don't want to see this stuff because I like, don't want it to be true. <laughs> I don't want to stress you out anymore, but I'm like you have to be prepared. You know, like just in, like if it actually said it, you know. Yeah. But um <laughs> Long story short, I watch this guy, like, he does live streams on TikTok every night. And I just am so interested in this. I don't know why. But he literally shows, like, weeks out storms that are coming. And it does say now that in Orange County, where we live, it is going to rain Saturday and Sunday. Ugh. And he showed, I was watching him today, he showed the forecast. It's He says it's a pretty big storm. It looks like it. And it looks like it's going to go all across California. And he, he keeps on saying he's like... Coachella, Coachella, you're in trouble, but it doesn't show it on the radar or on the um, forecast for us on like Apple. Okay. I was going to say Apple music on Apple weather. Yeah. But he also said you can never trust that. But um, yeah, I don't know. So he said there might be like scattered thunderstorms. All I got to say is we sent a, a group, we sent a screenshot of the weather to the group chat saying it may rain and all the guys are like, if it rains during Lana's set, it's going to be the most <laughs> magical thing ever. And I'm like, honestly, yes. Yeah. Like, imagine yes. that would be so sick. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, you said that. And that made me think of when we went to Italy and we were at uh, Cinque Terre in the water and it started raining and I was just like floating in the water. And I was like, I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that would be such an interesting yeah. sight of just seeing like, yeah, there's even like the festival in the rain, especially the whole, everything would be dirty and muddy. Muddy, yeah. That would just be nasty, actually. Yeah. Wow. And I'm wearing some brand new boots, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I will uh, pray to the weather gods. I will pray to weather daddy. <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll text him and say, please turn the storms away for Indiana. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully... It's just weird that it doesn't show it on the radar. Yeah. And I did, he did also say it's going to be really windy, mm -hmm. which Coachella is always really windy, I feel mm -hmm. like. I feel like I, uh, I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to not be smart and think that I don't need a jacket, but I, I think I need to bring a jacket. Yeah. Like I, I, I know I'm going to regret though. Mm -hmm. I think that is why I will have a horrible time is if I set myself up for failure and want to be freezing cold at night. Yeah. So I need to be prepared. 
Oh, because yeah, yeah I don't even real. know what type of bag I want to bring yet, to be honest, either. Yeah. And then I also am debating if I want to bring my G7X camera oh. because I'm like, ooh, the pictures could be cool. But then also, last time we were taking pictures, it wasn't working that well. So I'm kind of scared. When we were taking pictures at the uh, pink trash can that one time, mm. and it wasn't working. Well, so it wasn't working? We I were trying. what it was doing, what we it were, wasn't doing. What, so, what it was or wasn't doing. <laughs> Every time we would, like, press to take the picture, it wouldn't take. Oh. So I'm like, I don't want to carry this, like, nice, not, like, a nice camera, but, yeah. like, whatever. I don't want to accidentally break it if it's not going to work anyways. Yeah. It's weird because didn't it work pretty good at Disney? It did. So why did it not all of a sudden? Maybe the battery was low? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Well, we'll I see. I think you should still bring it. Yeah. Are you going to vlog or you think that you're going to have too much to... See, I, in today, I was literally thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I'm going to bring my G7X. Like, I was like, I could easily just have it on, like, my bathroom counter when I'm getting ready. Because I have to also film, like, uh, get ready with me at TikToks every day. So, I'm like, I, don't, I could just have it in the background just filming anyways when I'm already filming, kind of, like, filming twice. But then the thought of that is also stressing me out. So, I'm like, I just don't know if I want one less thing to do. But I would love, love, love to do that so I have a whole vlog to, like, post yeah. on YouTube. Because I love posting, like, my experiences and I never, I haven't done a vlog in a while. Yeah, that's true. I also feel like, which, yeah, I do love the YouTube vlogs, but I feel like recently just, like, TikTok vlogs, which yeah. I guess that's kind of what you have to do for yeah. your videos, but, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Which also TikTok vlogs are, I just feel like that's so simple because you already have your phone in your hand mm -hmm. and it's like you can just take a five-second video somewhere yeah. and it's like, there you go. Yeah. And you don't even have to really edit it at the end of the day. Yeah. I definitely think you should bring your G7X though. Yeah. I'm going to bring it and we're going to see if I vlog with it. Stay tuned. Another thing that I want to bring up that is hurting me to my core. Okay. And this is like a me thing. You know, I feel like other people, when you hear me say this, you're going to be like, girl, come on. What are you talking about? I obviously love Fortnite. Okay. And Fortnite is coming out with a collaboration with Avatar The Last Airbender and it is coming out the weekend I'm going to be gone wow. during Coachella and I am so pissed and I am like Austin I need to FaceTime you and I need you to show me all of the items in the item shop I need you to put my credit card in I want to buy every <laughs> single skin that comes out I need Zuko I need Katara I need Toph I need Aang I need everybody but I'm not going to be there to see it do they sell out they don't sell out, but we never know how long they're going to be in the item shop oh. for. Typically, the item shop refreshes every 24 hours, but I'm assuming since um, it is a collaboration, it will be in there for like a week or okay. the weekend. Okay. So I'm terrified that I'm going to come mm -hmm. back on Monday and they're going to be gone. Yeah. And I'm going to be so mad at myself if that happens. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, do I not go to Coachella so I can get the <laughs> Fortnite skins? Like I'm literally like feeding for them and I want it so bad and I want to experience it too because when like it just comes out, it's going to be so fun. Yeah. But I'm going to be at Coachella. So poor me. <laughs> you should just like bring your whole set. <laughs> so Austin said I can actually download Fortnite on my phone and play. Oh, but like that's not fun. So like do you log in? Because I was also going to say, can you download it like onto a laptop? um oh you probably could on a laptop too i don't play keyboard but like i could if yeah. i wanted to so when you play do you play with your little remote uh, thing yeah i play or with like the xbox controller oh, so control. it's like an actual <laughs> controller in my hand i know nothing about video games do you play with your little remote <laughs> <laughs> but um i feel like out of every fortnite collab that's came out I feel like Attack on Titan was obviously a big one. And then now Avatar is like my second. Like it's like a big, big, big one for me. And they even have like Aang trapped in the iceberg on the Fortnite map. Like it's oh. so literally. This is how much I love it. I went to go visit Aang trapped in the iceberg and I literally started crying. Because I'm like, this is so cute that Aww. I'm able to actually like see him yeah. in here. Oh, I just want to experience it so bad. But yeah. I'm going to be having fun in Coachella, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I guess I'll go to Coachella. <laughs> you may be interested in this little fact that I heard, and I wonder if it's true. Okay. But there was a little anonymous tip, I think it was on like Dumois or something, that Coachella is paying Taylor Swift seven figures to make a Coachella appearance, not even to perform, wow. to show up at Coachella because they apparently want more ticket sales and they think yeah. that her showing up would obviously drive more people to come. And obviously Lana's performing her yeah. her like Bessie her friend and I'm like I could see her showing up and Serena Carpenter 
That is so true. On the same day. Oh, is it on the same? They're day? both performing on Friday. Oh, you know, I did hear something about um, Taylor Swift showing up for Lana's set, but um, yeah, that's a lot of money. Uh huh. Just for her to show up, I feel like, I feel like if I was Lana Del Rey, I'd be like, okay, like they're paying you to like my my mom's paying you to hang out with me <laughs> literally <laughs> though know? that is true i mean it may obviously be not true of them actually paying her but yeah. um i don't know i just thought it was interesting but i feel like she there's a good chance she'll just show up good just because also like they've been having more outings and appearances like even going yeah. out to bars in like local towns yeah. to where i feel like they would show up to coachella just to celebrate for like them yeah that is true but i also feel like if they're paying her that much to make an appearance like to get more people to come like she's so famous she's not going to be walking around you that's know? true she's going to be in the artist area probably like with 10 bodyguards around her walking her out walking her in you yeah know? for like that one set yeah for so, sure but yeah if, if you see her until i say hi <laughs> okay we will do i mean i am in my brain you know i'm like a what's it called a clown and around yeah i think she's gonna come out and perform a song with lana but <gasps> we'll see <laughs> Oh my god, I just got the goosebumps. <laughs> I forgot they have a song. <laughs> well, if she does that, don't tell me. <laughs> FaceTime me. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy a ticket. <laughs> I'll just text you and she'll be like, on my way right now. <laughs> Taylor's here. That's I'm so funny. Me. I have a funny little story. Uh, speaking of Taylor Swift, I don't really know how funny it is. But I went to Trader Joe's the other day. Mm -hmm. And I never bring my reusable bags or like my tote bags. You know, and everyone does that. And I was like, you know let me bring it my sister got me this taylor swift tote bag for my birthday and it has like all of the album names has a cute little cat on it and everything and um when i was checking out there were these two girls helping me probably like my age like in their 20s and they're like oh i love your bag like you like taylor swift i'm like no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but i was like yeah and i was kind of like where's this gonna go you know because mm -hmm. some people are major haters some people whatever and one of the girls like oh like my sister's obsessed with her and i was like okay but you aren't kind of thing. Yeah. But um, so then they were like asking if I've seen her in concert and they were just making small talk. It was cute. Asking me like all my favorite stuff about her and all that. And then this girl goes, whoa, that's so weird. And the other girl was like, what? She was like, your total's $89 even. And it didn't click to me. I was like, okay. And they're like, whoa, like 1989. Uh -huh. And they're like, that's crazy. And I was like, wow. I was like, that's pretty cool. And then I was like, <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to spend that much money today, but okay. <laughs> and then I'm like, I go home and I tell my mom and I'm like, whoa, I saw her on eight, nine on August 9th. And she announced 1989 Taylor's version. Wait, that was like, I should have said that to them. Cause they were like, oh, that's so cool. I didn't even realize that. That's yeah. crazy. I do remember, um, like, I, I forgot that you were there at that show. Yeah. But I do, like, now lightly remember that I was watching somebody's, like, TikTok live uh -huh. that whole show. Because I was like, Teddy's here at this <laughs> show, so I'm watching it with you. You're like, I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> but I forgot that she announced uh, 1989 on that yeah. night. But I was like, that was just so random. And I was like, wow, I am a true Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of if Taylor Swift makes a guest appearance and sings a song, that reminded me of one of my favorite moments. Oh, I I was going through my videos and I saw this and I was like, that happened? Like, I didn't even remember. But um, it was from 2022 mm -hmm. when we got there like late at night. And in my head, we only got there for Harry Styles. Yes, I was... Oh, I was so <laughs> upset because we wanted to see Role Model on uh, Friday. And that was like in the daytime. Yeah, I think he was performing literally like five o'clock, like yeah. kind of like midday yeah. night where we could have made it, but we didn't. But we still made it for Harry Styles at least. Yeah, but so before Harry Styles, I guess we saw Daniel Caesar and Justin Bieber <gasps> came out. Wait. And they sang Peaches. I had no memory of that. I was watching it on my phone like... <laughs> Like, I just scrolled past and it was on TikTok. Like, I was like, whoa, I, think, I did this? I think I remember we were, like, eating and we were sitting down on the grass. Yes. And then all of a sudden, we just heard, we had, I don't know, really, Daniel Caesar. I don't know his music or anything. But I remember hearing, like, his familiar song that came on. And I was like, <laughs> I know this song. And then everybody started cheering. And I remember us, like, getting up from the grass and, like, running to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not fully running to the stage but yes uh -huh. i yeah because the video i was it's literally a video just me were on stage 
and then it like flips to us and we're like oh my god it's Justin Bieber <laughs> that's actually so funny I completely forgot about that yeah. wow one thing that I remember and that I brought up I you know when you're at Coachella you see some famous people sometimes um most of the time they were like obviously in the vip section or like the artist pass section and so you can't really like go up and ask for a picture you know or do any of that this scenario we saw billy eilish's brother uh-huh. phineas yes with his girlfriend walking on the field like where <laughs> everybody is and this so happened to be like i don't know if it was very recent after you've taken pictures with him yeah so i was trying to figure that out i was thinking it was probably 20 20- 18 but i came to realization that it was 2019 because i took pictures of him and i was like oh like i'm going to coachella like if you need a photographer like i and i said that to him i think because they were performing yes. that year okay yeah so i think it was that but that's crazy that he's just out walking around he's a performer uh-huh that is crazy yeah um but so i remember i they also had like bandanas like around their face so you <laughs> couldn't tell who they were and obviously like we just noticed them because it was also him with his girlfriend who we also know from social media and i just remember we were like walking towards them and we're like yeah. you have to say hi because also we have kind of like an end to where you could just be like oh i took pictures with you we could have just like talked or chat for a little bit and i had this weird feeling that they knew we were like following them okay probably and they kept speeding up and walking faster and i felt like we kept walking faster and it was like this situation when i kind of got weirded out i was like they they think we're following them Uh and then we were like you know we gotta turn around and we stopped yeah oh i forgot about like like the logistics of that yeah because i remember we were like oh my god it's them and we're like like okay i'm gonna go say something Uh uh-huh and then we were like running and then they kind of started running we're like and like i could have been like phineas but then Phineas is right here. <laughs> if you start screaming, it's just going to pull out more attention. Yeah. But then I, uh, I just feel like I'm so awkward. And it's like, okay, what do I say? Like, hi, I don't know if you remember me, but like, mm-hmm. which like, I feel like he would. He gave you his number. Come yeah. on. Like we spent like an hour together, like walking yeah. around taking pictures. Yeah. But uh, I feel like, can I get a photo pass for tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, that was a good uh, uh it's just crazy that some of these famous people just walk around mm-hmm. i remember there was um the guy from 13, 13 reasons why Ross? Is that yes his name? yeah i remember it was like right after the show came out or something yeah. and people were taking pictures with him like in front of um it was a big colorful building yeah. and i don't think we even went up but i was no. just like that's so cool that like i don't know people not that he's crazy famous but just like people yeah that are on tv or whatever are just walking around having a fun time like we yeah. are and also it's like I mean, I, I feel like maybe people listening to this, if they haven't been to Coachella or don't really know, but like he probably had a VIP ticket, but it's like the VIP is just like one little section that's like slightly closer to the stage mm-hmm. and they have better bathrooms, but it's not like it's like, oh, VIP, you're going to like see like all these famous people or, or like, I guess you do. Yeah. But um, we wouldn't know. Yeah. We're, we've never had VIP. So <laughs> I- but, but yeah, but I feel because it's like. I guess it's like double the price as a normal ticket, Mm -hmm. but it's still just like, like, I guess if they do get VIP, like they're still just going to be walking around. It's not like they have like bodyguards. I guess that's what I was trying to get at. Like, it's not Mm -hmm. like they're in their own little, like the artist area kind of thing. But yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. One of, another one of my favorite (laughs) moments, one of my favorite cringy moments, um, you know, I was in my YouTube era. Okay. Like we all were, but I was vlogging. Uh huh. This vlog is still on YouTube. Oh, it makes me cringe so hard. And I watched it last week to like, like prepare for this and everything, you know. But um, <laughs> I can't even say it. Um, so we were like, we we're standing in this area, and I was like, oh my god, is that David Dobrik? Mm-hmm. And we thought that, or we we saw David Dobrik, and we were like, oh my god. And then one of our friends, I think they came up to us, they're like, oh yeah, David Dobrik's over there. Okay, I'm going to be so for real. When this was happening, we were also very huge fans of the vlog squad during yes. this era, okay? When you guys were all looking at this man saying that's David Dobrik, just because he was wearing a black hat, I was Brown like, that is, I was like, that is not David Dobrik. Like, op- like what is wrong yeah. with your eyes? Okay, yes. <laughs> I guess. You know, sometimes you, you see someone and you're like, I wouldn't have 
like never thought that, that was like they just like look kind of different in person uh-huh. or something uh-huh but yeah and they were kind of far it was literally just a white guy with brown hair and a hat literally <laughs> literally and we're like oh my god david Dobrik. but the thing the kicker to this is jason nash was standing right next to him and it was a hundred percent jason nash a thousand percent jason nash Go watch my video <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so that's not even the cringiest part that we thought that that was david dobrik mm-hmm. um but then me and indiana go up to- <laughs> we pull out our g7x vlog cameras okay we will whip that thing out <laughs> and we turn that button on we press record and we go running okay and i don't even know teddy just literally puts the camera which honestly doing now yeah is definitely something you should never do yeah um puts the camera to his face and we're like it's jason nash or something what did we say i, I think i i think i had my camera down first oh, and, I, and i think i was like will you be in my vlog oh and then i think he was like yeah sure and then i like but i was like recording so i had that on like i was like will you be in my vlog okay and then yeah and it was jason nash and mike sheffer yes yeah and um and they were like were super nice about yeah. it and like they were like saying some stuff like cracking some jokes and uh-huh. stuff but uh, just thinking about it, it's so cringy. Like, I was like, will you be in my vlog, Jason? And the- <laughs> what what yeah. I cringe about, though, is because during this time, this is when I loved, I mean, I still listen to podcasts, yeah. but there were views was one of like the only podcasts mm-hmm. I listened to at back at the time. I said to him, I said to him, I said, I love listening to your podcast. And he responds to me saying what like the logan he was like impulsive number one podcast in the i think that's i think he just said impulsive number one podcast in the world and you go i love your podcast <laughs> that's literally what i said and i think he thought that i thought he was logan paul and i'm like no i like your podcast i'm like why are you bringing up logan paul into this i was so like like i don't know i left that conversation of him thinking that i didn't know who he was but i feel like i do remember you kind of like explaining like yeah like you kind of like laughed and then you're like oh like i watch your guys podcast all the time like blah blah, blah. And yeah <laughs> oh it makes so me cringe funny, i know so bad yeah. and i think i even like screenshot the video to like post that we met him or something <laughs> <sighs> yeah that was something but like yeah i'm not excusing any of my actions mm-hmm. but that was literally the time of david dobrik and vlogging and i feel like like the, I, they were good sports about it yeah and they're like no, oh like no. another vlogger like an, another nobody yeah <laughs> coming up to i us. also always remember um i mean i don't know how obviously how everybody's lives are now but i remember like back then he would say that people would just run up to him and like film him all the time and like yeah. he would be in the bits or he'll be like in the jokes so it felt like it was okay to do or whatever um i totally forgot that we asked for his permission so that's good yeah i have to say i think my favorite year of coachella was the last one we went to mm-hmm. 2022 even though like i hate it every year i just looking back at it it was like like i never really listened to harry styles and it was just such like an eye-opening performance and i was like Mm -hmm. wow like harry styles is amazing also harry styles performed what makes you beautiful by one direction i forgot about that also Uh uh-huh and i i watched my video and i was like oh my god one direction came out (laughs) yeah no he performs that at every one of his shows and i think that's like honestly really really cool that he does that i wonder i honestly i have not kept up with anyone else in the band i honestly yeah. did not care about anybody else besides harry styles yeah. but i wonder if everyone else also performs that song um other other shows yeah but also 2022 coachella i know we talked about last time like some of the food but i have this memory of us getting the monty's burgers mm-hmm. and we kind of like sat on this little thing and then we went to phineas's set oh and we just sat there like kind of in the back but like we we're like still pretty close as there wasn't a lot of people there mm-hmm. but we just sat there sat in the sun and just listened to music and like that is just like fun yeah. relaxing you know that's the vibe that i love for yeah. coachella uh, like i just think of 2016 we would push to the front of the stage you're just li- literally touching sweaty bodies yeah. all around you and like if i if that's what Coachella was, I would not want anything to do with it. Mm-hmm. I like my Coachella is sitting out far in the grass, kind of enjoying it and like having a fun time. And I feel like that's just way more enjoyable. So. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I have like a love hate relationship with that because I always want to be so close to them. Mm-hmm. But so that last time with Billie Eilish, like the happier than ever, like that phase, mm-hmm. like we were like decently close, I would say. Mm-hmm. But um, that was just like amazing. And she brought out gorillas. Yes. And they performed Feel Good. That was <laughs> one thing I remember from that 
this guy comes out on stage and the people behind us they're like oh who is that and this other person responds like oh i think that's her dad <laughs> and i was literally like like i'm a big fan of them like i know what her parents look like but like i was like <laughs> You're like some old guys just coming out. You're gonna say that's her dad. <laughs> I do and remember they sing that. the song and they're like, oh, "That's <laughs> not her dad." <laughs> but I do think it was that set. Also, we did try to get there a little bit early, mm-hmm. and everyone's like as close as can be already. Mm-hmm. But um, usually people sit down for the sets. I forgot about yeah, this. And also, the reason why people like to sit down, obviously, is because. I think there's typically a 30 to an hour uh, minute intermission basically Mm -hmm. from uh, when the last performer performs to then when the final one does on the Coachella stage. I mean, on all the stages too, like they switch out. So people kind of sit down if they want to keep their spots. Um, But yeah, we were all sitting down along with like so many people. Yeah. You know, you claim your space and there's always, always, always going to be the people who push their way to the front Mm -hmm. and just make it a very inconvenience and uncomfortable for everybody else. Yeah. And it's one thing like we definitely like, we weren't waiting like hours for her, but we definitely like made our way up there, but we weren't pushing through people. Yeah. There's a lot of pockets of like open areas and we definitely failed our spot and we're like, okay, we're going to stay here Mm -hmm. and people like we're sitting on the ground. There's some people standing. There's nowhere to go and people are pushing through. This is like before she even starts and it's, it's crazy. Like I get if you want to be like super, super close, but Mm -hmm. if you want to do that, like you have to get there literally early. Like, that's crazy how people get there. Oh they my run God. to the stage first thing in the morning. Mm-hmm. I I can never do that. I found that especially like um especially for Harry Styles too like because that is a Harry culture right there is people who literally spend the night overnight like waiting in line for a general mission just so they can be close to the stage um even for like his own concerts and yeah. I'm like I get it if you want to see him I don't think I could ever do that i feel like that just like honestly terrifies me even just the idea what terrifies me the most is the idea of me literally standing in that same spot all day long like Mm -hmm. because people do this for coachella as soon as the gates open people sprinted and ran to the front imagine standing there all day long crazy how do they pee how do they eat how do they drink like i just feel like i would literally pass out and one of my other favorite things from 2022 was doja cat yes it hurts me to say because i don't know headlining this year she is headlining this year and that's why i'm like i don't know how she is in the in the world right now i don't know last time i heard she was doing some not great things and was kind of canceled and so i'm like i don't know how i feel about wanting to see her because i'm kind of just like iffy on her actions lately but i don't know was she canceled in my head she was just like looking like she was doing some like demonic stuff okay see i don't remember i think i do remember that i don't remember if that's what it involved in oh you know what she was posting some stuff saying like she doesn't love her fans really um i remember i don't want to like miss say something but somebody was like doja i love you and she was like i don't love you and then she posted something about like not loving her fans at all she's like i don't know who you guys are and people were like you know i get it yeah like you don't know these people but other people were like you can't as an artist yeah. who has people supporting you, you can't say, I don't love my fans. Like, I don't love That's you. That's crazy. Or, like, I don't care about you or mm-hmm. anything. So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know, like, any of her music. Just, like, a couple of her, like, hit songs. But mm-hmm. I was just, like, mesmerized, like, looking at her. I was like, yeah. wow. I was like, she's so hot. And, like, everything that she was doing, I was like, oh, wow. Like, she's a good performer and everything. Mm-hmm. And. I was also going to say her and Meg The Stallion, too. Yes, yeah. I was like, wow. I was like, because I don't know. I don't really listen to that type of genre of music. I also don't think I would ever go to like, at, would you consider that rap? Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I never would go to a rap concert. Just not like what I'm very much into. I can listen to anything. But just even being able to go to Coachella, you can see these things for the same price as your yeah. ticket. You get to experience more um, different music. And so I was like, wow. Like, this was a fun experience yeah. that we've never seen before. We did also see uh, Cardi B. I think yes. like 2018. One I think those. it was the first year I went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was good too. Yeah. I liked her. Yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> Make the Stallion, just her song, Body Yaddy Yaddy Yaddy. That uh-huh. song is just like always, I don't know. It brings me back to when we went to Vegas that one time. 
for Bella's birthday. <laughs> yeah. And I think because Bella's birthday, that was 2021. And then we went to, we saw Make the Selling in 2022. And she was singing Body Yachty. And we were like, oh, we, <laughs> we're at the Sugar Factory. <laughs> we, we were scarred by that song. <laughs> we, I forgot about that. Just a long yeah. story short, let me just tell you that we went to the Sugar Factory, which was my idea, okay? We were going for our friend's birthday. I was looking up fancy or like fun restaurants to do. The Sugar Factory is this a restaurant where you get these huge fish bowl drinks, like ginormous. Yeah. I think they were like $40 drinks or yeah. something. Um, And they also uh do like birthday activities. Mm-hmm. And so one of the things was this huge Sunday. I think it was like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. And it had, it had like 50 scoops of ice cream, like every single thing that goes on a Sunday, like anything that you can ever think of to add for your dessert. Yeah. And they bring this thing out and so does all the dancers come out too, or all the workers and they start singing the body, yada, yada, yada. And they do the dance. They're, and they're all like twerking shaking it and, and shaking. <laughs> and it just kept going because <laughs> there were several people's birthdays at this restaurant yeah. and they only did that song. Yeah. So like Bella got the performance. There was literally five more performances of the same song so funny and so that was just all we heard for like three hours straight was body yada 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 yada. we were all just like shocked by it we were like what did we just witness like we were like like strapped in like oh my gosh what are we looking at they were all like dancing all around us like literally because we had like a big table probably like 10 of us or something Mm -hmm. and they were around the entire table and we were like like who do we look at (laughs) one more thing about my favorite year of coachella (laughs) Also, honestly, I think that Coachella year, the 2022, my outfits were just like, like, I liked them. I mm-hmm. thought that I did pretty good. And um, I was just feeling myself. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we take a lot of time taking pictures. And I was getting some pictures in front of the Rainbow Building. Okay. And we were having some fun taking some pictures. And this guy comes up with a camera and was like, could I take some pictures of you? Okay. Do you remember that? No. There's Not- literally a video. You took a video of me. I took a video of you? Not at all. <laughs> of the guy taking pictures. Do we know who this guy is? No, it was like, but he had an actual camera. And I think he had like a, like a Coachella tag thing. Like he was oh. taking pictures. You don't remember this? Not one bit. I'm showing any of the video right now, but it's literally this guy with like a big camera and a flash. And he was just taking some pictures and, and then walked away. <laughs> Wait, but did we... <laughs> my face is dead. <laughs> did, did we ever see these no. photos? I think we were thinking like it was going to be for like... Because you know how like Coachella like posts mm-hmm. like their own photos and everything. Yeah. But I don't think we ever saw them. Imagine we see ourselves on Coachella, like on their Instagram. Wait, I do remember <gasps> we met up with some friends that also showed up and they were there at the same time. Yeah. And all those pictures were so I, This fun. is what I'm saying. I'm like... I was feeling myself. I love it. That was when you also made your uh, Fits with Teddy Instagram or TikTok <laughs> account, I meant to say. And the way that I never posted anything after that. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to be just like you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this year honestly did have a lot of my favorite outfits too. Yeah. Oh, well, with all of that being said, I am hopefully looking forward to coming back next week with some great experiences uh to share with all of us so maybe throw in just like two semi not great ones so like for some drama you know yeah (laughs) i'm gonna literally have my notes app open for the whole weekend and i'm gonna be like this happened that happened this happened let's talk about everyone famous that you saw maybe you'll see david (laughs) over maybe or taylor swift who should i manifest that i would love to see taylor swift (laughs) <laughs> i would love to see emma chamberlain honestly oh. i feel like every year i'm always so excited to see what she wears yeah um but we'll see if she's even going this year yeah role model won't be there so um but yeah obviously sabrina carpenter oh, renee yeah. rap anybody else that i am trying to actually see in concert obviously There's lana like del rey lil uzi vert yeah i have him down on my list i like went through the whole coachella lineup and you know how you can favorite them mm-hmm. on your um on your coachella app and so i did favorite him i'm sure we'll watch him because i think bella likes him too yeah um i know nothing about tyler the creator he's a headliner this year yeah but i know that they're gonna want to watch him too i don't know i feel like this year i'm just gonna have to stick it out um with the late night performers yeah because that's the thing is i could leave early i don't really mind like i just want to go experience it take my pictures and then i can leave um but i know i'm gonna have to be I'm gonna have to be like sucking it up and staying out late nights yeah. so I'm scared and excited at the same time and be cattle going back to that shuttle bus mm-hmm. 
I forgot we haven't shuttled in a while too to where I do forget about like even you have to wait in line to find a bus yeah so it's like I don't know obviously if our shuttle is gonna be the most popular one and we're gonna have the longest line you have Mm. to wait for so obviously we will see well I'm so excited for you and I can't wait to hear about everything that happens Mm -hmm. good and bad in between (laughs) yeah also just another little update if you didn't hear last week I am going to Coachella with a brand called Wings Club and I'm going to be posting in collaboration with them on my Instagram and TikTok for reels, pictures and stories. So I'm going to have a lot of content for you guys to watch and keep up with for the whole weekend. Super, super excited. Yeah, I think that's it. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. So we will see you all next week after Indiana gets back. We should film this like the day that you get back. So it's like fresh and like if you're angry, like you can take your anger out on this podcast, you know, and uh-huh. you know, yeah, I feel like that'd be good. First thing I'm going to sit on this couch and I'm be like, let me tell you what just happened. You could like <laughs> blow your nose and show your black snot. <laughs> no, I'm going to for sure be showering as soon as I can. <laughs> well, that is it for this episode. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like and comment if you are watching on YouTube and give it a rating and review if you're listening to it on a podcast streaming platform. Yeah. Yeah. That was a mouthful. (laughs) But we will see you all next week. Have an amazing week and happy Coachella if you're going to Coachella. Woo! And we are the Quirky Quirky Cast. Cast. Bye. Bye!